Hey there toy collector friends and Transformers fans alike. Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Triple TC, that's the time travelling toy collector and this is the Transformers Legacy United from the Cybertronian universe Vector Prime. Now I've got to be honest, the Cybertronian universe, um, that whole branch of storytelling etc, um, not an area I know a huge amount about but as I understand it the next chapter if you like in the new generations range of Lego of transformers figures is apparently prime um and i understand that there'll be a bit of a focus i could be wrong i could have misunderstood but a bit of a focus on those prime characters particularly the the, the 13 primes which i currently have uh, not a lot of knowledge about uh, but i know where i'm going to go i'm going to look for the basics on the on the primes um over on on youtube um, on the basics channel uh, but uh, in the meantime I wanted to grab this because it, it did sell out quite quickly in a couple of outlets I don't think it's sold out everywhere um, and I have seen a few reviews as I say it's not something I know a lot about so I've done a bit of a bit of homework um, and it's interesting to see people compare this with the original figure again I have no um, I have no allegiance to the original figure because I didn't collect the uh, Cybertron universe figures um, I didn't collect for quite a long period while there was a whole new wave of Transformers lore being developed. So I'm not au fait with the, what it looked like originally, apart from what I've seen in comparison videos. Um, and I'm happy with that because, you know, I'm not going after those particular missing toys. I'm going after what I can get in the here and the now. Um, and so I'm ju not judging this from a comparative point of view, which I know other people will have done and have done. I'm judging this purely on its own merits. Uh, as a figure, as a Transformer, um, I have very little at this point knowledge around Vector Prime as a character, other than I believe he was capable of time travel, I believe. Um, he doesn't come with a diorama, that's still reserved for the Studio Series range figures, and as a Legacy United figure, that isn't a, a feature of his of his box. Um, I'm keeping the box in view um, just so you can see an element of the art. The, the back, as you will be aware, has product shots on it, but I'm showing you the product so you don't need to see it twice and you've probably seen it in other people's videos. So the first thing I'm going to say about this figure, and I'm going to zoom in a bit more for you so it's easier, is that it's a, gay, it's a, it's a figure of two halves. Now, obviously, we'll address the elephant in the room, and that is he's a heavy retool of the Jaxus figure. Um, I do have the Jaxus figure. I've not done any kind of um, anything with it yet because it's in my pile of things to get round to. But this literally came in today. So I thought, well, I'll try and get a video for this done straight away so that I can uh, get ahead of myself in at least in one respect uh, and then go to catch up with some of the other figures that I don't have. So um, I don't have um, videos for as of yet. Um, but the first thing that strikes me around this that I discovered was just how loose some of the joints are. Um, so he does have all the articulation you would hope for, um, but he's kind of, you see in the waist, there's the, there goes the waist. You can't, he doesn't really, it doesn't really hold well in any one position. He's quite a loose character in terms of um, the joints. And this leg, this uh, his his left leg, when I move it, you can see here, this aspect, which I think is a thruster for his space mode, jet mode, comes untapped from the back behind the leg. So you've got to be very, very careful. Now, it's just a minor thing, you know. Um, there's also these sort of cape aspects, which are a bit sort of confusing to me, because I, I believe they're supposed to be a cape, but they're not, um, they're not particularly well supported on the figure itself. Um... But those are, the, those are the negatives, and I'm just going to get them out of the way straight away. Um, the rest of this is very positive. Uh, so first of all, that head sculpt I think is fantastic. Uh, I'll go even closer if I can. The blue, the blue face with that helmet, and the red eye, the sort of purpley red eyes, which does is in keeping with the rest of his his uh, his look. I think that's a really excellent face sculpt. I love the gold detailing here on these um, shoulder pieces, very regal. Uh, the theme is colored, covered through. You can see we've got that sort of um, maroon colored plastic along with the gold paintwork, maroon paintwork. Um, 
we've got the translucent blue plastic with a hint of sheen you can see that sparkly element within the within the blade itself and an aspect of the hilt of the handle is the purple um and we also have now again this is a thing that i don't know much about and i might have to just watch the series but it comes with a, a cyber planet key which is this which fits neatly into this element in his uh chest here which again very nicely colored very very nicely colored and i'm to be honest with you i'm leaving it in there at the moment which way up it goes to be perfectly honest i'll i'll find out when i uh read the instructions i guess um, but I'm just doing that for storage at the moment. Uh, but that in itself is quite nicely detailed. As I say, I don't know the history of the Cyber Planet Key, um, but I will investigate. If anyone wants to do a pricey for it in the comments, feel free. You'll get, you know, bonus points for that. Um, but yeah, I really, I really do like the aesthetic of this figure. Um, I believe it's smaller than the original. Um, and I presume by definition, therefore, a bit more costly than the original. Um, but, you know, I suppose that's part of the course in the current climate. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think again, looking at the details here, um, we've pretty much covered all of that. From the top, there's some nice blue detailing on the top of those shoulder pylons there. Uh, there is uh, some more detailing around the back of the, the crest of his neck, really. Got some detailing here on this panel, which I'm assuming is going to fold out for transformation. Um, there's not really any hollow elements. The back of his legs are filled in by these sections, which again do come loose a little bit when posing. But other than that, it's fine. We've got um, ankle tilt, not a huge amount, but enough for posability. Um, and you can get him into some quite nice dynamic posing. Uh, I'll pull out a bit now so you can you can see him again in all his glory. Um, so yes, my initial reactions to the figure, apart from the disappointment, there's some looseness around some of the joints. I do like how he stands. I like how he carries himself. Um, I like the paint deco. I mean, he is a very much, uh, certainly the top half is arguably very different from Jaxus. Um, I do note that the Jaxus legs are very much intact, but it kind of gets sort of lost in the single color. These are here, and on the G-axis, that's where he has some of his fins attached. So in, in one respect, it's a bit of a shame they haven't addressed that because it does look a bit like he's got something missing, and of course he hasn't. Um, but uh, yeah, overall, colour scheme-wise, I really like the figure. Um, now, again, I'm not comparing him to an original, so I don't know how completely dissimilar he is other than size, which I know has been a, a feature of some people's thoughts. But I kind of like it. Um, I'm mindful of those loose joints, so I'm hoping they don't cause any problems during transformation. I'm going to take him away now and transform him um, into his sort of time ship mode. Um, and if there are any issues with that, I will share them uh, immediately with you. Um, I don't do, for those of you who don't know, I don't do, do the transformations on screen purely because um, I go through levels of anxiety when I start transforming things that I'm going to break them, that I'm doing it wrong. Um, sometimes the language I use is a bit <laughs> is a bit choice, uh, both with, mostly with myself, but sometimes with the figures, if they don't seem to be doing what I'm saying they should be doing or what the instruction says they should be doing. So apologies in advance uh, for not it not being a tutorial, but there are some fantastic YouTubers out there who do some wonderful tutorials. So I don't think you're missing out on that aspect. This is purely for my uh, my opinions, really, on what I think of it uh, overall. So I will come back on that. But first impressions of the figure itself. I like it. I like the aesthetic. I like the design. I very much look forward to picking up more of the primes as they are released. I hope there'll be more of those released. I think I've missed one. Uh, Nova Prime, I think, was released, but it screamed to me a bit of a redo of an Ultra Magnus figure. And I think I just sort of sidestepped it. Um, but I might revisit that um, in the future if that's the only chance. If that edition is the only option I have to get it. Right, so... Whilst I'm transforming Vector Prime into his uh, Starship mode, please do leave a like on the video. And also, if you could drop a subscription to the channel, it would be amazing. Because whilst I thoroughly do enjoy doing this, um, I'd love for more people to get a chance to see it and to give me feedback, to give me uh, their comments and thoughts. 
um, and that's done by by boosting the viewership, uh, which is done by uh, promoting the algorithm. And if you can subscribe to the channel, that helps immensely. And of course, it's completely free for you to do. There's no cost and no obligation to watch every single video that comes along thereafter. Um, and if you want to share the video, again, prime opportunity to do so. Meanwhile, I'm going to transform Vector Sigma and I shall be right back. And we're back in the room and I have Vector, uh, vector Sigma, that's an entirely different vector. Vector Prime all transformed up into his time ship, starship uh, mode. And I have to say, the transformation is both enjoyable and straightforward. I didn't encounter any major issues. Um, I didn't encounter any misreads of the instructions. Literally, it's very straightforward. It's, a, it's 22, 23 steps. Um, so it's the same as d uh, the, delu uh, the deluxe um, Bumblebee that just came out for Studio Series 86, actually. Um, although it looks like it should be more complicated. But yeah, very, very straightforward. And again, it's there's some lovely engineering on this in terms of getting it um, getting it to, to become what it is now. Let me zoom in just a shade. Again, we get much more of that gold and turquoise blue metallic detailing on there. It's beautiful. You can see some cockpit area there. Uh, the thrust, I mean, the legs are still there at the back. Um, we've got these panels at the side here, um, which formed the cape. We have, that seems to be not quite aligned. I know it is, it is. Um, we've got the thrusters there at the back. Um, and the feet do sort of tidy up enough to make that work. Um, yeah, detailing on this is really lovely. Uh, I'll show you the underside before we come around. So the underside is the, you know, the chest. The arms are kind of there, but you wouldn't necessarily know they were the arms, although they are sort of slung at the bottom. And they don't they, they provide a mini kind of um, what would you call it? Sort of sort of landing gear, but not really. I wouldn't want to land on it. Um, in a talking about the as I was earlier the accessories the um, the uh, Cybertron planet key can actually attach there to the hilt um, so you do have additional stories there if you don't want it in the chest um, you can also detach it from there he says with a degree of ease um, and it can then store on the top of vehicle mode which I now probably won't do properly um, it just tabs in there and it forms part of the top um, and the color scheme is unified so that works i think particularly well you've also got storage for the um, sword under here it can tab in uh, there if you like or there if you like i'm not going to do that um, i'm going to leave the sword off but i'm going to keep the the, um, the planet key in there because i i kind of like how that looks um, yeah, I, I mean, there's not really that much more to say about um, the Starship. I want to see if I can get it just to sit in a nice sort of angle for you to see. Take it from there at the top. I'll pull out slightly to give you a bit more of a, uh, a view. Um, but this is it's a really nice craft. It's, a, you know, it's, it, is, um, it is what it is, you know. Um, it isn't huge. It's a Voyager class um, figure. It's a nice transformation. I don't know, as I've said before, that much about the Primes. So maybe uh, somebody wants to tell me a bit specifically about Vector Prime in the comments down below. That would be utterly wonderful and I'd be very grateful. Um, or at least where I can go and find something nice and easy online. Um, probably Transformers Wiki is the best place to go. But you may know some secret cubby hole on the Internet that can give me more detailed and useful information. Um, although the information on Transformers Wiki is usually fantastic. So... Do you have Legacy United Vector Prime in your collection? Do you have the original? And do you think that the criticisms leveled by some people who are reviewing it are justified? Or are you looking at it as a figure in its own right here in the 21st century with the legacy aesthetic? Um, does it do its predecessor justice whilst being a new figure that moves it forwards in the, uh, in the, in the Transformers universe? You tell me what you think, as I'm I'm no expert in the Cybertronian universe uh, era, if you like, of Transformers. Personally, aside from some of the loose joints, which weren't too loose when I did some posing of it in between whilst transforming it up, the looseness doesn't really affect it. It's kind of fine. Um, I do worry um, about translucent plastic 
as I do know, it can get quite brittle. Uh, I really like the sword. I like the, uh, the sort of shimmery effect within the plastic there. Um, it's quite sturdy. Some of these swords come in there quite bendy. This is not. This is very sturdy. Same sort of material as these side pieces here. Um, I really like it. I really like it. Uh, I'm glad I picked it up. I was in two minds because I haven't picked up and won't pick up every sort of legacy figure that gets released. Um, I'm a collector, but I'm not a completist in that sense. Um, so I'm not. Uh, but I like the look of this. And also because it's a prime and I know the next range is supposed to focus on the prime. On, on, well, it's, it's supposed to be supposedly called prime. Um, and I understand from a couple of um, online reviewers and, and aficionados that we are going to see more focus on the first 13 primes, etc, etc. Then I think that might be a line that I will explore and collect. It'd be nice to get some primes that are <laughs> that are Optimus. Um, so, yeah, uh, what do you think? Have you picked him up? Would you pick him up? Are you going to pick him up? Is it a hard pass for you? Love to know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, for me, I'm really glad I've got him. Um, I have no emotional attachment to the character, so I'm not um, thrilled and delighted and weeping with joy that I've got him. But I am. I do like the character um, in terms of the figure, and I do like the, the the vehicle mode. I get that it's probably a smaller scale than he was originally released in, but these are different times, I suppose. Uh, as I say, let me know down in the in the comments. It'd be lovely if you could like the video. It'd be superb if you could drop a, a subscription, as I've mentioned before. But if not, there's no pressure. Don't worry. I'm just glad that you spent the last um, 15 minutes or so with me. It means an absolute world to me. Um, so it just remains for me to thank you again for being a fantastic audience. I've been the Triple TC. That's the time traveling toy collector. And this has been the Transformers Legacy United Cybertron Universe Vector Prime from Takara Tomy and Hasbro. Part of the Transformers. <gasps> He's vectored off. Part of the Transformers Generations range. Um, and it just remains for me to say that a thing of beauty, when it balances, can truly be a toy forever. Bye-bye for now.